fan supports the dumpster store workers and also all workers to the right of all workers to a living wage. And your government doesn't support this concept. Your government has an aversion to equality. Your government stands with the elites and against citizens. And today, can I call you Irish Water? Shh, shh, please, please, please. Shh, 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 shh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please proceed. Thank, thank you, Con Corlea. Today, Irish Water begins the process of issuing bills for your water tax. And this is a further example of the dysfunction and injustice which has marked this government's approach on this issue. And you know, Taoiseach, water charge bills will be issued to households which are not customers of Irish Water. Bills will also be issued to households who have undrinkable water. Now, I want to ask you to compare your attitude to this issue and your attitude to the banks. Tishak, what action have you taken against the banks who have refused to pass on the benefits of the lower interest rates set by the European Central Bank? You, Tishak, have given them a veto. So do you think it's fair or just or equitable for your government to take water charges from the wages, social welfare, payments or pensions of a family, while at the same time you allow the banks to withhold the benefits of lower interest rates to the very same families? Um, I, re I reject your assertion, uh, Deputy Adams, uh, that this government is not interested in people who uh, work on lower wages. I point out to you that the live register figures for today the 1st of April show that the standardised unemployment rate has now decreased to 10%. You will recall when you came in here that you were one of those who spouted constantly about the numbers of unemployed going over 500,000. It's still too high and we've got a job to do up ahead of us and that we intend to do to manage this competently in the interest of the people. That's why, Deputy Adams, the first thing this government did with the Troika who, were, who arrived in here, not by, my, uh, not by my invitation, but they were here, was to reverse the decision made by the previous government in terms of the minimum wage. Yeah. That's why we have taken 420,000 people out of the requirement to pay USC charges. That's why it is the intention of government to bring that to 500,000 when the Minister for Finance uh, presents his budget uh, in October. Um, and that's why, having listened carefully to the people, uh, that the level of charge for water is 115 per week for a single person uh, and three euro per week for two or more adults. Now it seems to me as if you are, as if you are content to leave people with inferior water with 40 towns plus emptying raw sewage into lakes and rivers uh, for the foreseeable future. Well, I'm not prepared to stand for that, Deputy Adams. And I am, I am prepared to see that the 30,000 leaks giving out 40, 40 so many litres uh, of water being wasted every day, that these are fixed. And I would say to you, I would say to you, um, uh, Deputy Adams, uh, the question about the banks, let me be clear on this now. This government did not fix and restructure the banking system for the benefit of bankers. It's for the benefit of customers. Well, you may laugh. Well, you may laugh. Harry, would you the, please, the fact please, of the matter please. is that this issue is central to the economic catastrophe that was allowed before the Irish people. And we had to restructure those banks, recapitalize them. That's happened. They are now back in profitability and they're paying less interest rates themselves Sorry, on the money that quiet, they have to please. borrow. Thank you. And the we point, Deputy the Adams, is we did not fix those banks for the benefit of the banks, but rather for their customers. I told you to Minister say Noonan responded to this quiet. this morning here at Priority Questions. I expect the banks to do better than they have been doing in respect of variable mortgage interest rates. I noticed the Fianna Fáil, the Fianna Fáil um, uh, uh, um, private members uh, business last evening called for the EMC, which you want to abolish, to produce a white paper. You people over there have nothing but catastrophic tradition insofar as banks are concerned. So don't open your mouths about it anymore. And for you, who know a lot about banks as well, we did not fix them for the benefit of the banks, but for the benefit of the customers. And we'll be meeting the banks uh, shortly. We'll also bring in a number of other options insofar as mortgage distress is concerned this month.
Thank you. Deputy Adams. One minute. Thank you. It's well seen, Taoiseach, this is April Fool's Day. And that's your attempt to say you did not. To say that you did not. To say that you did not fix the banks for the benefit of the banks, but for the benefit of their customers, is perhaps your attempt to get into the spirit of this uh, day. But I asked you to contrast your attitude to struggling householders with your attitude to the banks. You didn't do that, Taoiseach. And the banks have refused to pass on the benefits of lower interest rates set by the European Central Bank to mortgage holders. Now that's happening. I'm not making that up. That's happening. The Economic Management Council haven't even met the banks in three years. You give the banks a veto. We tried to put an amendment to that. You guillotined that uh, through this uh, chamber. Now, if you then consider the fact that you behave here as if you were a commentator, a spectator, Question, please, the people you. own the banks. So you have not reformed the banks for the benefit of their customers, and you spoof all the time about the great sacrifices being borne by the citizens out there. It's you who have imposed these sacrifices against them. Thank you. And today, today I make the point again. On the one hand, you send bills out to take water charges out of people's pocket, and at the same time, the banks are refusing to pass on benefits to them. So, Taoiseach, I ask you again to contrast, to compare your attitude to the elites and your attitude to struggling households. Thank you. Is your approach fair? Thank you. Taoiseach. Well, I'd say to you that um, AIB have reduced uh, variable interest rates. I'm not happy that the level of uh, interest rate reduction is not being passed on to the consumers. And let me repeat again, let me repeat again, when we, when we came in here first as a government, this whole sector was in a complete and unholy mess. It's now been restructured, recapitalized. Those banks are now in the position of returning to profitability. AIB have reduced variable interest rates, but they're, they're not gone far enough. I want to see the engagement that the Department of Finance have every week with the, uh, with the central bank continue. And uh, government, as I said in the House yesterday, will meet the banks about an agenda of issues, uh, including, um, including the, um, the bringing forward of uh, a number of other <coughs> options in regard to mortgage distress. Priority for government is that people don't have to lose their houses. 100,000 have been, have, been, um, have been settled satisfactorily and are paying their way. There are others in particular circumstances that need to be dealt with. Thank you. Um, as I say to you, Deputy Adams, you seem to be happy with a situation where our country, your country and my country, can continue where people have to buy water, where their houses are connected with lead pipes, where there's inferior quality water coming through. You yourself stood up here and you said, you said, I am a legislator. You am a le I am a legislator, you said, and I will pay my water charges. I will pay my water charges. Same with, with, with the person beside you, the, your deputy leader. 115 per week or three euro. Don't you think it's fair, Deputy Adams, that we should be able to raise sufficient money Sorry, to invest, you. to fix these systems that are inferior? Or maybe, maybe it's how you want to condemn people to having that inadequate standard for the next 15 years. Thank you. Well, I don't. The Minister for the Environment doesn't. It's time now to get on with dealing with this. And the government, having listened very carefully to people, say the charge here is one euro fifteen cent per week. Thank you. Or three euro. And the man who stopped me with the two pints in his hand last week and shouting about the, about the cost of water that he I couldn't pay, said to him, what he was holding in his hands would pay for water for him because I know him for nearly 10 weeks. Thank you. Uh,